Hello everyone, I'm Dee Dee from Vibes That Heal and today I'm on here to talk about the four personality types aka the archetypes that we all have within us and I'm just going to jump right in. So I have four archetypes here. We'll be talking about the child that we all have, an inner child. We'll be talking about the victim. We all have the victim. We also have the saboteur which is just another word for betrayal aka self-sabotage. And we have the prostitute, which I'm going to say for last because I have a lot to say about the prostitute card. Now for archetypes, even though they have negative, some of them have negative connotations. For the most part, the energy is pretty neutral. Each archetype has a light and a shadow side like us. We all have our light and our shadow aspects. And so it's important to know that these archetypes represent a lot of the vulnerability the vulnerabilities that we all have to deal with in this incarnation on earth so it does help to see these personalities as aspects of yourself or you can see them as a trusted friend either way just know that these are just energies they're completely neutral even if you have a good archetype just know that along with the good comes the shadow aspects that you have to try to tame or to embrace but like not get destructive and so just please remember that because i'm going to do a series out of these i do have all the archetypes here in this uh deck right here so I'm, I'm going to make a series out of all 78 of them and then i think it'll be cool to come up with some of our own but let's begin with the child archetype and the child archetype is something that I like to say the inner child because there are five of there's five different types of child archetypes but for this video I'm just gonna explain what it just means to have the child in within your personality so at its best the child yearns to be innocent the child is lighthearted and filled with wonder I'm pretty sure you can remember the good old days of childhood where there was this innocence to you as a child you you tended to see the best in people until the brainwashing began and we begin to lose our innocence and we begin to fall and see you know all the suffering that's around us and so this is the child archetype and its shadow aspects are self-pity the tendency to blame the parents for everything that you lack in life at its worst this is what the child does feelings of abandonment and disbelief and miracles when you're at your worst in this child archetype and you don't have to be a child to experience the light and the shadow of it this is something that's within all of us and at any time the child personality can be set off whether your parents trigger you you see someone ha having a childhood you didn't have these things can set the child part of your personality off but it's important to remember that we do have all 78 of these archetypes within us it's just some are more dormant than others but for these four they're activated pretty much at all times and they're just waiting for the right trigger to just come out and speak its mind through you and the next archetype that we do have is the victim and as you can see, it's just some girl sitting there being victimized and you don't really see anyone, but that's what it means to like be a victim. Sometimes others will make you a victim, but a lot of times we make ourselves victims. And so the victim personality basically it allows you to see when you're being victimized whether it's pass passive aggression whether it's force or just your own inappropriate actions but this can be a good thing because in its light aspect the victim allows you to have clarity it allows you to see when you're allowing others to push you around it allows you to see when someone else is being victimized and basically it just brings you all this awareness about what it means to be the victim and what it means to victimize someone else so this card is basically here to let you know when hey be careful this person might take advantage of you hey be careful you are selling yourself short and so that's the victim in this light side is letting you know when someone's trying to play you for a fool or something and in its shadow side the victim tells you when you're in the shadow side of being 
a victim you feel like you're always being taken advantage of even when there's no one's out to necessarily get you at its worst the victim loves to throw a pity party it loves the attention that that comes with living a hard knock life so be careful because we all can fall victim to this the victim card okay and if you're not careful you can get stuck in this energy remember we all have the archetypes within us but specifically this for we all share the victim the child and if you're if we're not careful if we don't stop to self-reflect you may have a inability to set personal boundaries again these are things that comes with being the victim so as we go throughout life it's important to overcome the shadow aspects of the victim you don't have to get rid of them but just know how to tame it because when the victim is out of control not only are you unbearable but you're unbearably negative you like I said you love to throw yourself pity parties when one thing goes wrong you feel like the whole world is against you so be careful with the the victim archetype because it can trip a lot of people up because you don't necessarily see when you're being a victim so just be aware of that and the next archetype that we all have is the saboteur and I like to focus on this one because I used to have this archetype bad when I was growing up I lived in self-sabotage and it's funny because the saboteur actually means betrayal and so it's not like betrayal in the sense that you know because what it really means is that this archetype helps you to see when you're self-sabotaging in general whether it's towards yourself or someone else so in its light side you're able to have self-awareness and you're able to be your own ally so the saboteur although it does play a role in any self-destructive or self-sabotaging ways in your life is there to let you know when you're allowing fear to trip yourself up and so that brings me to the shadow side of the saboteur and when you're at your worst in this archetype when you are self-destructing self-sabotaging pushing happiness away from yourself you are being self-destructive you are you do have the strong desire to undermine others and you will do whatever it takes to sabotage others so be careful in the negatives in the shadow side of the saboteur because we can learn a lot from this archetype this is like the love hate archetype but we can really learn a lot when we stop to see why are we why are we sabotaging ourselves why are we raining on our old parade what just why are we having this desire to sabotage someone else and this archetype will help you to answer all these questions I think it's really important for everyone to develop a relationship with this side of their psyche because when you are not allied with this part of yourself you will keep you might keep failing you might keep being sabotage you might keep sabotaging yourself I see a lot of people in relationships do this this archetype loves to come out in relationships because we all in relationships we often forget that the other person is a mirror but don't worry because this archetype will remind you again and again until you remember that if you are not careful if you are not your own ally then you can turn yourself into an enemy and that's what this archetype is here to remind you of if you're not a friend to me why should I be a friend to you even if it's yourself that you're talking about so keep that in mind for the saboteur we all have one and it's pretty easy to spot when it's coming out but I'll go more into detail on this archetype in another video because I am going to do an archetype series where I go through each archetype and just list all the details for them, how to overcome it, how to work with it, how to bring it, bring it out. And I'll discuss like um, if you have dormant if you have dormant personalities in you that you want to awaken, I will also do videos on how to awaken these archetypes but for the most part all four of these are always ready to jump out so that's why I'm talking about these for today and the last one to go over is the prostitute 
So the prostitute often has people shook because they think it means that inside of all of us is like the literal meaning of the prostitute. And that's not what I mean. This is just, this archetype reminds you how far you're willing to go to get something that you really want. And people who have mastered this archetype they're people who can't be brought no matter how much money you bring to them they're not risking they're not risking their integrity their dignity their who they are and who they truly are for material possessions so that's what the prostitute card is that's what it's for is to remind you that it does accentuate how hard it is to survive it does bring up how far you're willing to go to survive but for the most part this card is meant to teach you that no matter how hard life gets you will not compromise your spirit or your integrity or who you really are for a check and that's what the prostitute is here to remind you of in its worst form the prostitute will place material considerations and security above self-empowerment so if someone's like in the shadow aspect of the prostitute so they're vibrating in fear they are constantly wondering how they're going to survive they feel like they're at the mercy of everyone around them the shadow aspect so this person may resort to doing some something they would not have done if they felt they felt like there was any other way out so I, I tell women to definitely be careful with this archetype because if you're not careful, you can end up in a lot of situations where later on in life you have so much regret, guilt, like how could I let someone do that to me just because I felt this low or I felt like I had no other choice. The prostitute can talk about sex as well. Um, are you willing to sell your body for your survival needs so it can get really dark in the prostitute because at its worst it's full of fear it's full of the i'm at the mercy of everyone around me but when you master the prostitute it's it's like you're gonna be vibrating on a i'm not for sale everywhere you go like um no matter how bad things get i know spirit is with me i know i'm good i don't have to go out to do these things and when i do these things i can't even look at myself in the mirror the prostitute makes sure the prostitute makes it so that you can stand strong and you won't be easily scared and you will not resort to doing you know something strange for a piece of change so it, it's encouraging you to know that no matter what you have what it takes inside of you to get the life that you want to live comfortably and you don't have to sell your soul to do it and so that is the prostitute card and i have questions you can ask yourself to see what which archetype is acting up at any given moment and I will put them in the description box because this video is getting kind of long but for the prostitute itself if you feel like this archetype is acting out you can ask yourself um have am I in a financially stable place if you're not chances are you're battling with the shadow side of this card you're trying to figure out what you're willing to do to get the things that you need and the only advice I can give for that when people are battling with the prostitute card is to remember remember a time where money wasn't a concern even if money was a concern for you throughout your whole life remember a time where as a kid you couldn't really understand that and so money to you was not necessarily a big deal and in those times you'll see maybe you have hobbies like maybe you like to draw and stuff and so go back to your childhood and take away the the things that you would have did for free back then and been super happy and see how you could apply it to your real life I'm into spirituality. That's something I've always been into. Even as a young girl, I gravitated towards astrology and numerology. And here I am trying to teach other people what it means to be spiritual and how you can live comfortably and be spiritual at the same time. And that's all I can really say if you're struggling with the prostitute. I'll list some more questions for the other ones down below. And uh, that's all I have for today. 
Again, I'm Dee Dee from Vibes That Heal. If you want to get in contact with me, if you want a tarot reading, stop by my website at vibesthatheal.com. I also have an Etsy shop, and again, it's Vibes That Heal. I'll see you guys next time.